Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cody with The Connected Camper. Today is another installment in our generator runtime series. Today's candidate is the Genmax GM3500 IAED. This is an inverter generator and it is in the larger class here. However, it is significantly smaller. It is about 60 pounds-ish. I'll show that in the Excel sheet, the actual weight, but it is significantly less heavy than the Win or the Kipper. Now, let's just see if it being smaller makes it more efficient. We'll test that out today. Now, not only is it smaller, but it is uh, remote start, dual fuel, Loudness, it is a little bit louder than the others. I don't have an actual decibel meter to measure it scientifically, so we won't be testing that in this series. But it is an excellent generator that is my primary go-to. Now let's see if I'm actually making the right choice in choosing a more efficient generator or a less efficient generator. We'll find that out. So let's jump into our testing conditions. For today's test, again, we have the Genmax GM3500 IAED. Now this generator has a significantly smaller engine than other generators in its class. It has a 145 cc engine. I'm interested to see if this is going to contribute or pull away from its efficiency. Its rated power is 3200 watts when it is on gasoline. This is a dual fuel generator, so we are going to be testing it with 87 octane gasoline today. It is a 50% of its rated load is 1600 watts. Its fuel tank size is 1.7 gallons, and its fuel that we're going to be using is 87 octane, like I just mentioned. Our testing conditions are 50% load with one half gallon of fuel in the tank, and then we're going to use some algebra here to extrapolate and get the full tank runtime based on the runtime on half a gallon of fuel. Now, I expect this to be significantly lower than the other generators in its class because it does have a smaller fuel tank because of its smaller footprint. So we'll find that out. We'll also find out the kilowatt hours provided here. This is going to be a good efficiency test amongst generators of different sizes. One half gallon of fuel, what does that translate to for kilowatt hours provided? The cost of the test is $1.65 and then we'll also use that to determine the cost per kilowatt hour. Now one thing is that the advertised runtime run time on a full tank is not advertised. If you go to Genmax's website, you'll see that they leave blank sections in their website for the gasoline runtime and the propane runtime. So we'll get some good data here today that is not otherwise advertised. And for today's test, here are the tools that we'll be using. The very first tool is this little 20 watt LED work light. This is going to be a good indicator of when we lose power. Next is just a kitchen timer that counts up in hours, minutes, and seconds. Next is a temperature gauge. Generators perform differently at different temperatures. A kilowatt meter. Various uh, surge protectors, extension cords, power adapters that we may or may not use. Half a gallon of 87 octane, and then Lucas fuel treatment.
as you can see, we are off the races with this Gen Max. Now, as I alluded to at the beginning, this machine is easily my favorite generator that I own right now. It is super lightweight comparatively to its competitor, the Win. It is about 35 pounds lighter. It is remote start, which the Win does not have. It is dual fuel, which the Win also does not have. So this thing is all around just a lot more flexible and easy to move around. And it is the only downfall compared to the Win is that it is just a little bit louder. The tone is slightly different and does kind of pierce through objects and grass and, and everything else just a little bit more than the Win. The Win is significantly more sound dampened um, when you look at the panels and the inside and everything else. Um, this generator, I've got a little over 100 hours on it. And so it stands the test. It's loaded around in the back of my truck. It's traversed more than 14 states in the back of my truck with my camper hooked up. So this thing has not had an easy life. Um, and it's been a good machine. I mean, just a couple weeks ago, we were out in Colorado. And this thing was sitting in 20 degree temperatures. And using that remote start, it fired right up the next morning to charge up the batteries and so that I could run some coffee. Um, it had gotten snowed on. It had eight inches of snow around it. And by the time it ran and it had all that snow melted away from the engine heat, but it was able to start up in those cold temperatures, handle those harsh environments, and it's worked great. Now, this machine, I've heard rumors, I've had people uh, leave some murmurs in the comments of my other videos that this thing is not as efficient. Um, as you can see from this test, it is proving to be an efficient machine, and we'll be able to take a look at the um, at the actual data, and I think we're all going to be pleasantly surprised that this thing does have a smaller engine, so in theory it should be more efficient, and we'll actually we'll take a look at the full data here in just a couple moments. But it does end up sputtering and dying right away. We do get it restarted, but it doesn't run for much longer because it is out of fuel. All right, now we're reviewing the data on the Gen Max. As you can see, and as you saw in the time lapse, our 50% load with one half gallon of fuel netted us one hour and 23 minutes of runtime, so it's 1.38 hours. Now, if we extrapolate that to the estimated runtime on a full tank of fuel, that's four hours, a little over four and a half hours at 50% load. And in my experience, this is about right. When I was running my 15,000 BTU air conditioner on top of my trailer, this would not run it overnight. It would stall out and die around 2 a.m. And so this tracks, and this is pretty accurate for my experience. Now, again, Gen Max doesn't advertise this. Um, this is something that I'm really not surprised because comparing this to other generators in this class, this is pretty low. Um, and it's only low because of this fuel tank size. It's not because the generator is inefficient. It may appear that it's inefficient because you have to go and fill it up a ton, but it's because of its lightweight nature that it has this smaller gas tank. And so they can't get as much gas in this machine to be able to get it to run the 8 or 10 hours that these other manufacturers claim. Now, it did also produce more kilowatt hours on that half gallon of fuel than our other generators. We're at 2.4 kilowatt hours provided. And so the cost per kilowatt hour is 69 cents per hour compared to these other, other generators. Now, if we take a look here, we have these other generators filled in as well as some additional data below. You can see the weight comparisons. The Gen Max is actually 45 pounds lighter than the win. I'm not even going to do the math on the kipper on how much lighter it is, closer to, to 60, 70, or 80 pounds lighter. Um, it is it, more efficient to run, and that's honestly not surprising when we compare these engine sizes. When it has almost 70 less cc's than its competitor, it should be more efficient in theory. Now its downfall is that smaller gas tank size to be able to provide you those longer run times. For me, that's not as big of a deal because I am not running this continuously at 1,500, 1,800 watts. And if I am, I don't expect it to go the full five hours. I expect it to run for maybe three or four. By that point, my batteries are going to be full. Now, down here, we can compare some additional features and specifications. Now, the Gen Max is significantly lighter weight. It does have electric start. So did the Kipper, so did the Win. The, the Westinghouse, not so much. It does have remote start. None of our other generators so far have remote start. 
as well as none of them are dual fuel. So as you just saw, this Gen Max is an efficient little machine and I've made a good choice. I have a little over 100 hours on this machine and it is performing great. I've made a good choice, not only because it's lighter weight, but because it is more efficient. I'm really happy with this thing so far and I'm looking forward to getting many more hours out of it. So if you like this video and if you like videos similar to this about camping, generators, solar, just being outdoors, be sure to like, subscribe, comment if you have any other ideas for additional videos. But I'm Cody with A Connected Camper. I really enjoy putting these videos out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.